Here you, you can see the conventional maze on this side and on, on this side is uh, BT maze. The variety of this maze is the same, but uh, this one uh, have a gene, has a gene with uh, resistance to European corn border. I uh, grow BT maize uh, because I, I can't risk that uh, the infestation of European corn border uh, will damage my, my field. We have time for harvesting. I think um, several days, maybe one week. We have time because uh, uh, yeah, it, it isn't dry enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it will be in one week the harvest here. Česká republika je zemí Evropské unie která k pěstování geneticky modifikovaných plodin přistupuje pragmaticky na základě principu předběžné opatrnosti, přičemž plně vychází z vědeckých poznatků a závěrů v dané oblasti. Průměrná roční plocha se v České republice pohybuje okolo 4280 hektarů, Letos poprvé díky ploše 3050 hektarů klesla. Celkově se dá hovořit o trendu stagnace plochy geneticky modifikovaných plodin. Our farm has approximately 7000 hectares of arable land and uh, we can uh, divide our production into um, agriculture production and uh, livestock production. We have approximately 650 hectares of maize in all our company and uh, 150 hectares is uh, conventional maize and the rest of, of our maize production is BT maize which is uh, used for uh, cows and bulls. So at present time we are in uh, Kozolupi farm. We are in a uh, cow house uh, where is approximately 500 cows with milk production. And uh, you can see how they are eating their uh, feeding dose. And <coughs> uh, I can show you the feeding. Uh, you can see here some uh, silage from BT maize, you can see these grains here, and uh, this is a mixture of uh, maize silage and some uh, straw and hay, and some other components like soya and uh, grain and so on. Uh, we would like to produce high quality silage, uh, which is uh, the best for cows, because when you have uh, uh, healthy plant on the field without infestation with uh, corn borer. There are not uh, any other illnesses, any other uh, smooth fungi and, and so on. So if you use a healthy silage, you have uh, better uh, milk production and uh, you also have better components in milk like fat and, and proteins and so on. And uh, also you have uh, healthy cows. Our company is uh, the biggest one in, in, uh, in this area, but uh, we are surrounded 
uh, with uh, 30 farmers, like family farmers and, and so on. Uh, our neighbors are uh, here, you can see. Uh, there are a lot of uh, neighbors in, in this area. We have duty to, to inform our neighboring farmers uh, until 1st March, I think, uh, that we plan to grow Bt maize. And uh, after the seeding, uh, we have to write another 30 letters and uh, inform our neighbors uh, that we have sown Bt maize. So uh, it takes a lot of, lot of time to prepare it. Uh, the next duty is to inform a um, local uh, agency for agriculture and rural and uh, Ministry of uh, Environmental Protection. And uh, we also uh, uh, have to store all information about uh, Bt maize growing uh, for five years. Ty povinnosti, které jsme zde nastínili, tak svědčí o tom, že administrativní náročnost pro farmáře je značná. To odrazuje od, od pěstování a následného nakládání s, s produkcí. Uh, each year we, we uh, send these letters, but uh, I think we, we haven't uh, any response from, from them. So i think uh, one letter after uh, seeding is sufficient. Ministerstvo zemědělství může v rámci svých možností apelovat na orgány Evropské unie s cílem pravidla pro geneticky modifikované organismy zjednodušit. Uh, Next duty is to have um, some buffering zone, which is 70 meters between our maze and uh, another conventional maze. And this, uh, this distance uh, can be replaced with uh, conventional maze, uh, where uh, one row of conventional maze is two meters of this uh, distance. We also uh, uh, have to have uh, Refugees, uh, which represent uh, 20 percent of uh, Bt maize. So at first we uh, seed uh, conventional maize around all the field uh, up to 20 percent. And after that we, we uh, seed in the center uh, the Bt maize. Uh, I think the, these buffer zones and refugees are, are quite useful. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think for us, it isn't a uh, problem. This, this year the infestation of European corn borer is very low, but uh, I don't think about uh, to replace Bt maize with conventional maize, because next year could be completely um, different and the infestation of European corn borer uh, could be much higher and uh, the damages uh, cost me much more than, uh, than is the additional price uh, in Bt seeds.